Dan Harmony always set us off to a nice loud tone. Now up next, if we have any of these ones here, I know we only ever a few. Do we have any Marines in the room with us today? I'm sorry, Marines, what? Come on, Marines. Now, I know there's always a little, there's a little bit less of y'all than there are the Army, but last week a man told me it's because it doesn't take a lot of Marines to get the job done right the first time. He said that, not me. All right, Marines, here we go. Everyone clap along. that are out there sailing the seven seas and you came on vacation to the same thing. Where are my Navy men and women at? Come on, Navy, let me hear you. All right, Navy, you guys know what to do. Anchors away. Here we go, you gotta catch it. In three, two, three, two, one, six. sailed overseas and served this nation other than on a big luxury yacht and cruise liner. But I do know, as a fellow sailor, there are two versions of this song. There are this one that is the politically correct one that says roll. And there's the one that y'all sing. And what do you sing? Drink to the foam, the man with the beer right there, that's right. <laughs> Drink to the foam, and that is something I can get behind as a sailor. Y'all get up one more time for your Navy men and women. Thank you for your service. <laughs> All right, flying high in the sky, where's my Air Force? Come on, Air Force. I can't hear y'all. All right, Air Force, here we go, off we go. start marching and signing on the dotted line, doesn't it? I am by no means biased, but that one is my favorite jingle. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is great. Thank you very much, Air Force. I knew you were Air Force, Elisha. I knew I liked you for a reason. All right, up next, do we have any of them here? Usually, we got a couple. Coast Guard, anybody Coast Guard? We got one gentleman in the back. All right, over y'all give it up for your Coast Guard. Now, so we want to say an extra special thank you to you because without you, none of us would be on vacation right now because the Coast Guard is pivotal in helping the cruise ship operations in and out of port and keeping up safe. Without him, y'all would be sat right there. So y'all show some other Coast Guard. Now, sir, I think there's only one of you because everyone else is probably at work. So you're going to have to sing this one, but we're not going to let you sing it alone, right? All right, we got the words up on the screen, everyone. Here we go. Let's do this for our Coast Guard. It's quick. Second verse. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's it. You're good to take a seat, sir. Thank you very much for your service. Now this next one is a new recognized military branch. And every week someone tries to laugh, but it's serious. So stop y'all's laughing. And also, I know that a lot of people that are serving in this branch actually can't stand to be recognized because it's all top secret, you know what I'm saying? So, but if there is anyone that's not the top secret parts of this one, Space Force, stand up and be recognized. Why are y'all laughing? <laughs> it's serious. People can shut us down from their telephone these days. We need people up there with the satellites. Y'all give up for Space Force. They are very vital right now. Heck, TikTok's trying to take over the world. We gotta make sure we got someone up there to protect the satellite. And uh, my, my new goal is to meet an astronaut. I wanna meet an astronaut, so if there's any astronauts in the room, please let us know. Uh, and there's not a song for Space Force yet, but I've got a couple suggestions off the top of my head. Rocket Man! <laughs> Ground control to Major Tom. <laughs> just a couple suggestions. I just have to find the box to put them in, but I'll get there eventually. One more time for Space Force, everybody. 
administration, you guys are in that, NATO, as well as other uniformed service members. Please can be recognized for these ones right here. Show them some love. Thank you very much, this young lady right over here. Thank you for your service. We also want to know we got these guys and gals in the room. Any of our first first responders, police and firefighters, EMTs, doctors, nurses, emergent medical staff, caregivers, and teachers. Stand up, be recognized right now. Thank you very much for all you have done. I know that 2021 was a very tough one for each and every one of y'all fighting a good fight right here on the home front, from the, the doctors to the, the people that were showing up there first, uh, the efforts on the scene, the ambulances. And of course, I say teachers, I include the teachers because the teachers are also being put through it right now to make sure they're raising our children with the right state of mind and making sure they get the education they need to continue to grow into being successful human beings of society. So thank you very much for all their service as well. Now, this next one doesn't always get recognized, but without these people here on the screen, our military personnel could not have served and did what they did. So right now, if you're a military family, a friend, a spouse, a, a child, a grandparent, anyone right now that is a family member of our personnel, stand up and receive some love, because they could not have done it without you. Thank you very much. You guys didn't sign the paper, but you served nonetheless. And each and every week I get someone telling me about, you know, you know, it wasn't that hard to deploy, but the hardest thing was to be the person at home. We had a mom a couple weeks ago that said she both served and then her children served and she said it was much, much harder to be the one left at home because when you're deployed, you're working, your mind's on the, on the mission, but at home you're waiting for that phone call, you're waiting for them to get home. So again, it takes a lot to stay at home and support our military personnel. So one more time for our military personnel. Thank you very much. I want to recognize, uh, now there's a couple more groups I want to recognize, there's a lot of recognition left to go around. Uh, do we have anyone serving in the National Guard or Reserves? Can you recognize National Guard and Reserves? Thank you very much for your service and dedication to duty right over here. Thank you very much. Thank you for service. Do we have anyone that is currently in active duty personnel, active duty, currently serving right now? Thank you very much to these brave soldiers. Thank you very much for your service. The reason I like to have this in this big lounge and I like to have plenty of time before and after is so that you all can kind of make those those kind of correlations between the, each other because there's nobody else in the entire world that can probably understand what's better than the people in this room that what you have been through. A bunch of different conflicts that you have served in. Now my dad, he was not a military person. He did not serve, but Lord, he thought he was a drill sergeant. So if I miss any conflicts, you just shout them out to me. I am not afraid to be yelled at and I do not want to miss anyone or insult anybody in this room today because I know that y'all can pack a punch. So, that being said, please rise if I say the convoy you served in. Did anyone serve in the Civil War? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. Uh, I do want to recognize also this week on December 7th, we had our 80th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. So let's get some recognition of that as well. Do we have any World War II veterans with us in this room today? The honor of having any of them here with us. Our thoughts and, uh, and our thoughts and prayers, Rob. Robert, are you here? Robert, you're back here. Your dad served in World War II. Anyone have their family serve in World War II? Uh, almost every single one of y'all. I was talking to him and I was like, you know, is anyone serving World War II? He jumped out, like jumped out of his seat. 99, turning 100, jumped out of his seat was waving his arm around. He came up to the stage, bounding, no wheelchair, no walker, no Maserati. Came leaping to the stage. Started telling us about his life. You know, he told us about the wars that he served in. And the life that he was living now was a very full life. He had two brand new knees. He had a pacemaker. He had a new wife. He was upgrading. She was a younger woman though, y'all. I mean, you guys know what I'm saying. She was younger, right? She was 92. <laughs> But he was, he was such a delight, he had so much to share with us. So again, if you guys ever have the pleasure of being a World War II veteran, if you've got the honor of having still in your family, especially for 2020, please make sure you're stopping and talking to them because they are few and they are fleeting. So we want to make sure you recognize our World War II veteran. Last time, all right. I'd like to recognize if we have any Korean War veterans with us today. Any Korean War vets in the room? This young man right over here, thank you very much for your service, young man. Which branch did you serve in? Air Force. Air Force, thank you very much for your service. All right. 
This next group, I want them to rise and remain standing. This one is very, very sentimental. This one's very touching. This one is the one that we need to make sure we recognize properly in this room with this group of people today and every day that we see them. So if you are a Vietnam vet, please stand up and I'm gonna stand. I wanna look each and every single one of y'all in the eyes and try to get around to all of you. I should keep, I mean, I, I don't know if you know this, but I wasn't there. I'm 26 years young, but I have heard the horror stories that each and every single one of y'all went through. And it is absolutely deplorable what happened to y'all. To answer the nation's call when they needed you, you went, you didn't ask to go, but you served them less and you gave us those freedoms that gave the horrible people that threw tomatoes and spit on your breast blues the right to do that and get their freedoms free. And you did it without having to be told twice. And so that, we want to make sure that you all know that we appreciate you, you are thanked, and your service is absolutely appreciated. So thank you all for your service, and welcome home, soldiers. Y'all give it up for your Vietnam vets, everybody. Thank you for your service. We appreciate you. So again, if I miss anything between then and now, you absolutely just shout them out to me. So anyone that served in Operation Desert Shield, please rise and recognize Operation Desert Shield. Thank you very much for your service. We appreciate you. I know they're similar, but they are separate conflicts. Operation Desert Storm, please rise and be recognized. Thank you very much for your service. I'm serving in Panama. If anyone serving in Panama, please rise and be recognized. The young lady at the back, thank you for your service. This young man, this man has you sat down, so we are just gonna keep standing up like basic training, just do your squats. Thank you for your service. Serving Operation Enduring Freedom, Operation Enduring Freedom, standing recognized. Thank you very much for your service and your dedication. Thank you very much for your service. Operation Iraqi Freedom, they are different, but they sound similar. Thank you very much, that's right, just stay standing. All right, well, anyone serving out in Somalia, serving in Somalia, stand to be recognized. This young man right here, he says, yeah. Thank you for your service. Uh, serving in, y'all talk to me now, I don't know, Beirut, any of you have any Beirut uh, veterans with us today? This young man right over here, thank you very much for your service. Y'all talk to me, where have we served? Serving in Bosnia, stand to be recognized. Thank you very much for your service, young lady. Back over here, right over there as well. Where else have we served? Serving in Afghanistan, in the entirety of Afghanistan, rise and be recognized. Thank you very much for your service. Yellow shirt, yes, sir. And where? Haiti, serving in Haiti. Serving in Haiti, thank you very much for your service. Where else have we served? The Korean DMV? DMC, I'll say the DMV. <laughs> Korean DMV, the back over there at the back as well. Thank you for your service. <laughs> Korea. There's so many letters I have to try and learn. The DMV, that could not have been it. Oh, goodness. Okay, keep going. And the LA Force, Ally Force, I'm so sorry. Ally Force, serving the Ally Force. Serve your appreciation. Thank you very much for your service. All right, in the back, yes, ma'am. Serving in civil service, standing recognized. Civil service, let's recognize them as well. Thank you very much. I remember that came to the top of my head when you said cyber, but now I can't remember it. Kuwait, serving in Kuwait, standing recognized. Serving in Kuwait, thank you very much. This guy keeps popping up too. You guys just deserve to serve today. I got one way that I do know and I recognize, you know, every person in this room. I've got a way to touch each and every single one of y'all to make sure you get y'all that appreciation. If you have served more than one day in any of our armed forces, more than one day, that's more than most of us in this room, myself included, if you serve more than one day, please rise right now and be recognized. All right? More than one day, all right? Keep going for one year. Keep going for two years. Three years. Four years, thank you for your service. Five years, thank you for your service. Six years, seven years, eight years in our armed forces, thank you for your service. Nine years, ten years, a decade in our armed forces. You are sitting down, you are collapsing, all right? Eleven, twelve, thank you for your service. Thirteen, fourteen, thank you for your service. Fifteen, sixteen. 
17, thank you for your service, but turn on the side. 18, 19, 20 years, two decades. Who said my hands are hurt when I'm here? 21, that was retirement for a lot of people. 22, thank you for your service, Santa, thank you in the back. 23, thank you for your service down here in the front. 24, 25, 26, thank you for your service, young lady. 26, y'all are still standing? You have served longer than I've been alive. 27, thank you for your service. 28, 29, 30 years, three decades in our armed forces, y'all. Give it up for our soldiers taking a seat. There are still people standing, you guys. 31, 32, thank you all your service. Thank you for your service. I've got a young lady here. I've got a gentleman at the back. I want to make sure I'm not got a gentleman under there. All right. We were at 32. I don't know why y'all stopped clapping. <laughs> 33? 33's the young lady on the side. Thank you for your service. 34. There's still this that you guys have to sit down at some point. 35? 35 years. You said 34, sir? 36? 30, I'm sorry? No, I heard you. I said, I'm sorry. <laughs> 40 years, four decades. <laughs> Gentlemen, how many did you serve over here? Four? More than 40? I can't count any higher. I didn't go to college. 41. Thank you for your service, gentlemen. 40 years of service on the side. We're definitely going to talk to you. 41. More. Are you still? Are you currently still serving? He's retired. 42. 43. This isn't a raffle, sir. 43. I feel like I'm at an auction. Can I get 44, sir? Can I get 44? No, higher, higher, higher. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55. appreciation should go to Mr. Yoders, yes? Absolutely. Elle, can we get this to Mr. Yoders, please? They're in the boxes, right? They're in the boxes. Okay, perfect. I've got that, and I've also got a, a t-shirt, I'm assuming is from you as well. You get one of each. But you know what? While we're all here, I'd like to give the other one to the gentleman that served 40 years in our armed forces. <laughs> Handsome man. I'm not quite close enough, but I will come all the way over there. Handsome, what's your name? We got Robert Kitchen. He threw the whole kitchen at him. Look, he's the size of a kitchen. Robert Kitchen, which branch did you serve in? Army! 
for 40 years. And what was the highest rank you held, Mr. Kitchens? Sergeant First Class Kitchens, you darn right. Thank you for 40 years of service. And I've got a little something for you as well from our friend right over here. You get yourself a t-shirt and you get one of our flags that flew over the Capitol. This is for you. Thank you very much to Sergeant First Class Kitchens. Now, like I said, on, uh, on two of our ships, we've got the Mardi Gras that just came out, the Panorama as well. Those two ships, and I don't know if they put it on the radiance or not. They may not have space for it. But uh, the, you guys know what the sports bar is here on this ship, the Skybox Bar. We are slowly working on getting those turned into our Heroes Lounges. Just a little bit more sentimental and a whole lot of fun for you guys to go in and to have a place you can hang out with, not just one time at tea time of day, but every single day they've got... Uh, the, the hero coins you can actually purchase there on those vessels. And then, of course, they've got different themed drinks, like for parts and all sorts of cool stuff uh, that you can go in there and, uh, and get appreciated for. So definitely make sure when you are on those two ships, you are checking them out. And speaking of which, I'd like to recognize just a couple more people before we get on to our next section, which is do we have any Bronze Star recipients in the room today? Any Bronze Star recipients? Thank you very much for your service. Over here, the gentleman on the side, this gentleman here, that, and there. Thank you very much for your service, Bronze Star. It's all right, but you said you're the, you're the who of a who? I'm sorry. You said the what? Grandson of a Medal of Honor recipient. You are the grandson of a Medal of Honor recipient right here in the room. Which brings me to my final recognition. Do we have any Medal of Honor recipients in the room today? We got the grandson of one. And the daughter, and the daughter right over here, do y'all have the same parents? <laughs> Thank you for your service. Now, I, I, I've never, I've only had a chance to meet one, and we were sat in this room, and we were asking about it, and I was kind of like, do we have any Medal of Honor recipients? Cause in five years, I never had one. And the man just popped up real casually in the back. He was like, yeah, I got one of those. And so we all like erupted, like, oh my gosh. He came down, and I was like, what's your name? He said, Don Freedom. Talk about a cool name. Of course you got one. And I was like, I was like, tell me how you and he was like, oh you know, I did some stuff, I got the I got the awards, not a big deal. I was like, which president gave it to you? He's like, I don't really remember. And we're like, all right, all right, Don. And we sent him back and you know, sat him down. And then we have an open forum in just a second. We're having an open forum session. And during that open forum, a young man that was sitting a little bit over here, Don was back there, this man was over here. He stood up and told the story of uh, what a sergeant had told him during basic training, the story of a man that had gone against his orders and gone into enemy territories with the plane to try and get the soldiers that had been left behind. And that man received a medal of honor. His name was Don Freedom. <laughs> chills, chills. And Don was like, He's like, oh, that's cool, I know you're sorry. And he was like, by the way, it was Ronald Reagan that gave you your honor, sir. <laughs> so you just never know who's in the room with you. So we wanna make sure we try and recognize each and every single one of you. And if we've missed anybody, do not be afraid to tell me where we gotta make sure we recognize all of y'all. Really as well. And um, if, if you guys have come to the military appreciation event before, you know, at the very end, we used to have a big group picture on stage. Well, obviously, uh, health and safety protocols have changed a little bit, but I just wanna make sure you commemorate this moment with each of y'all in the room. So uh, before we get to our open forum section, I just wanna make sure, you know, people's not kind of trickling in and out. I would like to get a picture of all of y'all together, even if it's out in the audience, whether you wanna stand up, cheer, screenshot, I would like to get this moment. And then I'll post on my Facebook page, so at least we have a little something to commemorate this moment all together. Cool, cool? All right, well, you guys wanna stand up? You wanna sit down, what you wanna do? Stand, I thought you would. All right, so I want you guys to stand up nice and tall and proud for me. And I want you to get this picture all together. I've got the wide screen shot, so don't worry. We are, I think I can. Oh my goodness, y'all look good. All right, I've got everyone from the man in the white shirt, the man in the cute little hat over here. All right, on the count of three, I want you to say the branch you served in. One, two, three. All right. All right, let's get a nice video as well. All right, do that loud and proud one. You with one, two, three. Y'all look so good. And with that being said, since you're already up and about, let's get you uh, into our open forum section so you all can start sharing those stories. Once again, this is a room full of people that understand your shared experiences. So if you have an organization that helped you or a story you think might help someone else in this room, 
please just pop your hand up and we're gonna have Elle who's coming around here with a microphone. You guys can come and see. We've got a gentleman right down here front and center gonna take us off first. I'm also gonna come around. If you guys are leaving, have a wonderful afternoon. But right now we are going into our open forum section. So sir, tell us a bit about yourself. Take it away. Curtis. I'm Angela. How you doing? I'm doing well. How All right. Doing? <laughs> oh, that is this is green on top of it. <laughs> that this green thing right here. <laughs> I've never heard of that before. I'm learning something new every day. That's good. Am I right on you? No, you're right on you, Jeffrey. Yes, I did. Yeah, you. That's fine for me. Thank you. And get to the list. Yeah. My thought is not going to believe this. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, I know you love salmon, but I never thought you would have eaten it raw. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's me? Thank you. Yes. Okay. I'm a human. Yes. Okay. <laughs> that looks delicious. Is Lil Rob back to normal yet? Pretty much. Um, you know, a lot of the doctors, you know, like I said, they still do things over the phone or, or video or whatever. Um, a lot of the stores have opened back up. And there's still some that's closed. Mm -hmm. When I say the house stands in the house, I mean, 
you can't make it there if you ain't got good food. Mm -hmm. You know, you just won't have people coming to see you. Mm -hmm. So no restaurants do any appetizers at all. That's pretty much no food. Mm -hmm. So when they came back, they kind of switched up. So they stopped having people come in. They went to the south, the south of the delivery. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people when they come out, don't give them the money. But you gave a business some money. Right. <laughs> right. And all those tax breaks and you know. You give them But did you come by yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay. I got tired of waiting on people. <laughs> I was just like, wait, I got friends. And stuff. You know, I they actually. Broke. I actually have a, a travel group, Facebook travel group, and I plan a Facebook travel group, but what I do, mine is different from everybody else's. I actually have people that like to travel, but my frustration is, okay, when I put information on, I'm responsible for finding all the different cruises, putting it together, getting the information together. Put it on Facebook so you can see what I plan. Then you let me know if you plan on going. Okay, everybody's in, right? Four months time, people start falling off. Yep. So, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not gonna miss any more cruises because of y'all. If you wanna go. <laughs> I just like to plan it. You know, I just I like have, to. We have a lady that's a travel agent. And it's the same whether you use a travel agent or a book. So, mm -hmm. you know, that makes it great. Right? That's the same thing. If you join our group, we usually go in December, February. We had two Australia cruises canceled. What? Oh my God, I would be too sick. We had an Australia, oh. <laughs> and we were going to do a B&B &B before, uh -huh. a B&B &B for like two days in the middle, and then the cruise on the back end is like a seven or a ten, and like a 14 day on the end, so we were going to like be known for almost a month. Outstanding prices for these um, Australians said they want no Americans. <laughs> oh my God. You see your Americans can't come to Australia. <laughs> 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 right. <laughs> You wanted to be a grandma? Because uh -uh. I know as soon as I am, it's going to be knocking on the door, 2407, want me to babysit, and I am just getting to the point where I want to travel, you know. If, if I can give you any advice at all, do it when you want to. That's exactly what I'm doing. Don't, don't <laughs> do what no, I'm ready. Yeah, don't do no pickup, don't be, I got to be home for school. Mm -hmm. do the same thing with pets. Yeah. I can't go on the trip because I got you. You gotta take care of dogs. You can't go on the trip because you don't want nobody dogs. It's like, I'm mean, I'm serious. <laughs> Doggy day care. <laughs> this is stuff that people are telling me. And I'm just. Tell them now the daycare is out there now. I love plants. I love my plants. Mm -hmm. I put some water on them. If they make it, <laughs> they, they, will like make, they, they will make it. If they don't make it, then they wouldn't make it. Right, right, exactly. <laughs>